Hey everyone, Techno Ninja here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to scan documents with your iPhone. So let's get started. Now, scanning documents is easy. There's a feature that's built into your iPhone to do that. What you're going to do is go ahead and open up the Notes app right here on your iPhone. Once you open up the Notes app, let's go ahead and tap on that icon to create a new note. From there on, what you're going to do is click on that uh, paper clip. You might also see a camera icon here if you're on the older version, but on the latest iOS 18 version, it's a paper clip. And then from there on, it, uh, there's a setting to scan document built in. So you click on scan document. And then all you're going to do is take your document. Usually you want to lay it flat and then just take it from the above and it will recognize it um, and take a picture for you depending on how you want it. It can automatically do it. So I'm going to try to do it from a further distance. As you can see here, it automatically scan it. And then once you're ready, you can click on save. And you can see here, I have two documents here. And then you can also delete one if you didn't like one. Let's go ahead and delete a page. And I have a document like this. And then with this one, you can go ahead and click on to email or share or put it, uh, mark it up, uh, print, whatever you want to do with it. But that's going to be how you can go ahead and scan any documents when your iPhone you can also see this option that gives you to allow you to also save to files like for example if we save to the files app from the notes you can also open up in the files and then go ahead and let's take a look at this one and then on our iPhone you also find the scan document so let's look for this one that we scanned right here as you can see you're scanned it right here same exact thing you can go ahead and click on to share and do any of these other features as well. That's how you can scan documents all with your iPhone. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone. We'll see you guys next time.